they were as close as any father and son could hope to be. I'm lucky to be a part of what he is, what he stands for, and what he's doing right now. This is the father of the most famous athlete on the planet, Michael Jordan. And on his 57th birthday, he was an unidentified dead man in the swamp in the middle of nowhere. The body has been positively identified as Mr. James Jordan. In North Carolina, you probably couldn't find a more famous family than the Jordans. There was immense pressure to solve this case. Police have charged 18-year-old Daniel Green and 18-year-old Larry Demery with first-degree murder. They were paraded into the courthouse for the cameras. I mean, it looked like you were broadcasting the Super Bowl out there in the parking lot. Anything you want to say to the Jordan family? I didn't kill them. Authorities say Jordan died of a single gunshot wound to the chest, but no blood was found in the car. It couldn't have happened as described. They did not find a bullet hole in the chest area of the shirt. And how is it suddenly there when this case comes to trial? Uh, I'm trying to stop short of corruption, but maybe I, I shouldn't. This case was complicated from the very beginning. There had been a history of racial injustice and law enforcement corruption in Robeson County. It is not uncommon in Robeson County for innocent people to be charged just to close a case. The jury didn't hear all the facts. There were people involved who did not want information revealed. It's always a deputy that wins. They start hitting them against each other. I'm starting to believe he's telling the truth. You shot and killed Mr. Jordan. He's wearing the dead man's jewelry. It doesn't look good. Both of us kind of like pawns in a game. There is still so many lingering mysteries to this case. The hardest part is watching the people that you love suffer because they know that you're innocent. In this country, we have an expectation that freedom is a right, and it's not. Freedom is a privilege. I'm fighting for my freedom. It's finally time that someone tells the truth. 